It's been a problem reported in other cities. Dockless scooters and bicycles clogging up sidewalks. Well, now these two wheelers are rolling toward Portland. Our investigative reporter Gabrielle Carroll says changes could be coming within weeks. Portland streets could soon be transformed with docking and undocking bikes becoming a thing of the past and with e-scooters potentially coming to Portland by the end of the month. Dockless transportation is app-based. Open the app, find a scooter or bicycle near you. Use the app to unlock and start your ride, then park wherever you'd like. I think it'll be fun to see. It might cause a big old litter problem everywhere with e-scooters, but we'll see. Other cities have seen scooters and bicycles scattered on sidewalks and streets. It's a problem Portland wants to prevent. That's a that's a really big issue for us for a variety of reasons, including the access of folks with uh, disabilities. The city has opened applications for a pilot program. Startups Spin, Skip, and Bird all confirmed they'll be submitting applications. Another competitor, Lime, has been emailing city staff for months. <laughs> the 120-day test period could begin in weeks. We knew that there was interest out there, and so we wanted to create a framework. Um, where we could introduce these e-scooters uh, and, and really look at and evaluate how they worked. Bike Portland editor Jonathan Maus hopes the e-scooters will be here to stay and that they'll get more people out of cars. Anything that makes people rethink how we get around is, is going to be, is, is, is positive, you know. As for bicycles, Portland could eventually see a dockless bike town system. Ride hailing startup Lyft acquired Bike Town's operator and says it wants to introduce dockless bikes. Portland's Bureau of Transportation says it would have to approve that transition. In Portland, Gabrielle Carroll, Point Six News.